On March 30th, 2023, the Flagler County Sheriff's Department received an alarming call about a man wearing a dress and a bonnet assaulting a woman at a local Popeye's fast food restaurant. Officers immediately responded to the disturbance. Surprisingly, the suspect turned out to be a manager at the restaurant. He had been called on his day off after it was discovered that the cash registers he was responsible for were short by $2,000. When another manager contacted him about the missing money, he became angry and stated he was on his way to the restaurant to handle his business. Upon arrival, he initiated a conflict with the entire crew at the restaurant. Traffic 14 Flagler. Myself and 223 are coming to 27 at Popeyes. Hold on. For real? You, hey baby, I called the police yesterday about your husband standing by you all. Stand right here. We're all siblings. We got the same name. It doesn't matter. Hey, 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 chill, chill, bro. It matters to me. It matters to me because you let him cook. Come between me and my family. If that's how y'all. This is my ex. Just go in, go in. No, it's about money and because this girl called okay, okay, working okay. on a fake name. She told you that I called on you about trick that you all I got for y'all. That is a false about me. What's going on, man? That's why I should follow your sister. Yesterday I got I have seizures, sir. Uh -huh. I used to work here. Okay. Yesterday I get woke up. Mm -hmm. I have a seizure now. Well, first and foremost. The fight because she grabbed me. Okay. All I did was hold it down. Ain't no man against no woman. I got a surgery. Let's clear that up first. The dirt that she works under a fake name here. Y'all accuse me when I worked here under fifteen hundred dollars. Nah, no. Nah. So what? But happened? she called what, the police yesterday. Okay, we're trying to figure out what's going on. I happening. came out here to confront my sister because y'all telling me somebody gonna do something in my house. I already know how RJ play. This girl cut tight, bust windows. If you run it, her name will come back to Willie Drive. I'm tired of being in the middle. When this girl came back to work here. She used my manager code. She didn't have one. Y'all gonna tell me I what took $1,500. What, what manager code? You, like you, a, I'm a registered manager here. Okay. So when she came here to work on a fake name, mm -hmm. I didn't know she could work on a fake name. Mm -hmm. But you worked here. So I'm the only one with a legal code. Not even my sister had a code to log in the computer. Y'all okay. gonna tell me I got $1,500 short on the lease? Man, I came from being a general manager that had to have a surgery because I don't bust my ass night and day. But this girl got people working up here under fake names, you're paying people that don't even work here. But because I don't roll my car, my other one so raggedy, and I lost my mama, you want to tell me something that I got shit to do with my sister? You gonna let her call the police yesterday and tell them, "Are you all? I got you." That's that's like me lying on you. That's a falsified making a claim, right? Okay. And because y'all said that, I called Flagler County, I called the sheriff. Just I said say, I'm so, home. So, so they said that y'all came up here yesterday, y'all rushed the store about somebody reporting you all that said my name stolen. Which that's my sister. I let her husband use it. I rented it for them. Okay. I'm like, bro, what the hell are you talking about? Why I'm home? But I'm doing damn near about to wreck out trying to get here to keep him. And he has no record. I came up with yeah, we're arguing. But the moment she swung at me and you ripped my hair, my head, bro, I'm all I'm doing is holding you down. He came here to all the way on Treasury Day trying to say he was gonna fight her. Who? He came here, my brother came in here and he put his hand on her face Who? and she a defended nurse? herself and they started fighting. He don't want to chill. He don't broke our property. I'm his sister. I'm trying to get him. Is he related to her? I'm tired. No. Huh? How do you know? How he do you... need to go to jail. He hey, needs to go to hey, jail. We gotta calm down. I'm sorry, so we gotta... but he hit my hand, sir. This big. Be... We gotta oh. figure out what's going on. Okay. He hit me and threw me on the table. You see my eye? He's grabbing. Do you need an ambulance? ambulance? I'm the GM no. here. I want to trespass some more and put it against him. So he can't come. We can do all that, but we gotta figure out what's going on first. Okay. So. No reason. Okay. Where was she at when this happened? Where were you sitting at? He came, he came up in here, right but he had already texted saying he was on his way to her to fight her. For what? Why is he mad at you? They've been, it's an it's a argument or whatever, whatever he got in his head. Uh, boyfriend, whatever. girlfriend? Oh, no, oh, I don't He's want, a girl. I, don't want I gotta ask. He don't want her. Okay. Okay. He don't so, want her. So, how, why, how are they texting each other? How do they know each other? Because we call her. That's her brother. What happened? Tell them what happened. I'm asking you. Oh, well. She called me and said he coming to fight me. I was here at work. He, he called away. you? Yeah, he he called. Drank, came away from Daytona. Okay. They called you wanting to fight her. For what? He. I he. don't know. I don't, I don't know. What, all he, what all did he say to you that you can remember? 
with RJ. I text her and tell her he's coming up there. He, she texts her leave because he can't. And I'm not leaving him. my work, Reggie. I'm not leaving. So how do you know him? We all know each other. She used to date my son, and, which is his nephew. And he, you know, because they used to get in arguments and fight on my son. Now he said that because he was a counselor. He, he, he need to go to jail. I'm hurt. I don't need no okay. ambulance, but he attacked her first. Oh, look, I got the phone for you. Look. Oh, is that your phone? Yeah, I mean, he leave your job. He's coming to fight you. I just dropped in the car. You got a location. He talking about calling you. Right, go back up. Go back up. Who's he to you? That's man. That's from yesterday. That's from yesterday. Yeah, we were talking about this. You know him? Nah, you ain't gonna do me, baby. Oh, you know him? Oh my God! Yeah, we know him. I know him for long, baby. Y'all know him? Really? Yeah, yeah. We not, we're not informers. I'm not, but you can kill for that kind of stuff. Okay, you don't know where we're about. This the first video? Hold on. Okay, that's three videos. This one, he first came in here. Hold on. That's when he first came in. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna see. Let's see how he first came in here. Mm -hmm. Why is that's she's the who the one the one right there that oh that one out there which one the one with the pink they're both off they're okay. not working right? no we're not going to come on that four o'clock we're supposed to come on that but he came in here and started it okay. so then hold on he goes so here you go you see you see yeah yeah okay See, he went to hit me. So when he hit me, right, go back. When he hit me, one more time. You see, when he hit me, that's when. Uh, when he uh, when he was doing that, did his finger touch your nose or? It went up. Oh, he that's, caught that's me. That's when he caught your arm. Then he caught his nail in me. I mean, three point one more time. Look, so then. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see because yeah, it's like you hit first. You might have a hold it. But look, but. You gotta watch kind of close, like. Yeah. He, he hit in the eye. Right? Okay, okay, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, got, yeah. I, got, I got you. I got you. I got you. And that's fine. Yeah. Okay, I just got you. Know you gotta look at it. He's the sending video. out threats, sir. On the video, okay. you gotta look at it. You gotta look at it. And then you see. Whose phone is this? It's her. Yours? You were recording? Yeah. Would you mind doing a witness statement of everything yeah. you saw? Okay, thank you. No. You have your ID on your ID? My driver like, I'm about to pass out, but no. Okay. And when the truth come out, now you wanna. First of all, you got your kids up, so don't talk about endangerment, baby. You run your record, that's all you do. Okay. And they can trust Henry, that that's fine. But RJ Davis, she's got no business working on the Ebony Lump, his name here. Like I mm -hmm. said, your employment is today. Because I'm going to give my side. I don't care about that. Because your woman said, I'm going to put her hands on me. I got my keys. Hey, door. she ain't no Ebony. Her name ain't Ebony Lumpkins either. That's RJ Davis. Because she's a so-called manager here. We both is. But the truth, I'm tired of that. Like, that's my actual sister. Don't be up here talking about I call a, a, a stolen U-Haul. Now, if y'all would have realized that it was a fake report, then I would have been in trouble, right or wrong? Yeah. Right or wrong? Come on, man. Y'all are going to keep telling me like that. I come up here to confront you about something you did wrong, and you want to get loud and go take a swing at me. All I'm doing is grabbing your ass. I need that I press charge about a stolen car. Listen, this is, I, I just there. pulled up. No, I'm, I'm trying to talk to the sergeant. sergeant, okay? That's why I came here. Okay. It's because she called and act like she was me. I okay. let, I loaned a rented a truck for my sister who works here. Okay. Well. Hang tight just a second. Let me talk to the sergeant. Y'all got no scars or anything? What's Any that? what? Because the scratches that she got, they burning. Spices? No, oh. scratches. Scratches. I mean, I can call an ambulance out here for you. Yeah, we don't have. I don't, we don't carry that yeah. stuff with that stuff. Is that blood on you? That's my blood, not her. Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't attack her. Mike. Mike. Somebody called, and uh, a male called, said he was going to come over here and, and kick somebody's butt. He showed up. So this is It kicked our butt. I don't know oh. if this is the male yet. I haven't got that far. Okay. So you asked up my um, hair clean. That's $200 hair. And I'm going for the charge on her. Um, so, yeah, whoever whoever that person is who came here to beat the person up. Excuse me. This. Can you just just hang tight over here while we're investigating this, okay? Can you please uh, investigate that set of robbery they had here? Okay, we can only do one thing at a time. You understand that, right? Ah, well, right now you seem to be the problem. Yeah. So just Let's hang just... tight.
Do you need a paramedic? I already that, asked you. I'm hot, by the way, okay? Huh? I'm hot. Yeah. Did you okay. see that uh, on crime maps, the Holly Hill, uh, the Holly Hill homicide suspect? Oh. Yeah. Apparently, he's right down the road. They know him. Oh. Yeah. Like, right down the road where? They won't tell me. Oh. But oh, apparently, he's nearby somewhere. Because well, they're living. all related. So. Oh, oh, oh. Because she's looking, I was there scrolling through the phone and I saw a picture of him like, how do you know this guy? Uh, and I'm like, oh, well, okay. apparently he's right down the road, so okay. keep an eye on that. Yeah. Thanks. <coughs> first things first, this right here is the trespass warning for Popeyes. Okay? Being issued to you by the general manager of the store. Okay. This explains it right here. This means you can no longer come. You can, let me explain it to you, okay? And then you're going to roll your eyes at no, me. I'm roll I'm trying. Okay. I don't have this is a trespass warning. You are no longer allowed on this establishment. If you come on this property at all, parking lot, anything, you will be arrested and taken to jail. You understand? Okay. So go ahead and set that inside the car. Do you understand the trespass warning? Yeah. Okay. Very okay. The second thing we're going to explain to you is you are going to jail for battery. Battery? Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and drop your phone. Oh. Drop your phone right there. What? Is that a felony? No, it's so a misdemeanor. You're not rough. It's a misdemeanor. Okay. I'm not being rough. Battery? Yes. Oh, man, come on, man. My whole... You're going to jail for battery. So battery? Let me let me explain all your charges to you, okay? Because you got more. What? Okay? Oh my you're God. going to jail for battery, criminal mischief and disorderly conduct inside of a restaurant. Oh, man. Oh, oh. My body, that's not right. Let me ask you a question. You want to take the watch with you? And leave all that I stuff want my here? personal in my wallet. Oh, okay. my God. Uh, all I did was push my hand and put finger jab to her and she had to attack me. Oh, right, you finger jabbed her, but you came no, up here from no. Daytona. To fight her is what y'all are trying to tell Looking me. Looking no. for an altercation. I can't okay. Let me sit you in my car that way. You just, God, you what hope do y'all have that I can hit a fight with this girl? Come on, man. No phone. I ain't said no such thing. Come on, man. No. No. Oh, okay. I always give people the eyes. That's all I'm saying. I don't say like that. I believe it. The man was eventually charged with battery, criminal mischief, disorderly conduct, and grand theft. He was sentenced to probation. Three months later, he was rearrested for a similar offense. He also informed the officers that someone was working at the Popeye's restaurant under a fake name, which they are likely investigating. Anyway, we ask that you hit the like button on this video, and we look forward to seeing you again soon.